Hi everyone, it's Ria here, and today I have with me Chinchurk. Now, he did something pretty incredible. Within four weeks, he won from silver to gold. Not only that, he got a perfect score in the uh, January silver contest. So, yeah, thank you for taking time to be here, Chinchurk. Of course. Thanks, Ria. It's, uh, likewise, it's a pleasure to be here as well. Awesome. So, yeah, I guess the first thing is, when did you get started with Yusuko? Yeah, so um, I started with uh, Yusuko about, um, I would say, one year ago, exactly. It was either the January, February contests of 2020. So um, I would say I'm pretty new to Yusuko, but definitely not to uh, programming or computer science. So, yeah. Okay, nice. And then when did you advance from bronze to silver? Yeah, so the bronze, uh, I went from bronze to silver in uh, last year's February contest um, and uh, silver to gold in this January. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, after February, once you had made silver, were, were mm -hmm. you then studying to try to make gold at that point? Yeah. So um, I actually, so I was balancing. So one of the things with, uh, for me with Yusuko, it was like, um, it's not just about the competition itself or just for the promotions, but um, also the skills that I gained from it to be able to apply it to other places. So I was, um, I was juggling a lot of things um, at the time. So I was uh, focusing on, uh, for example, like the math Olympiad or other things, but I was, it, it was one um, aspect of like my uh, preparation. Um, so I, I don't, so in that time, I wasn't um, uh, giving a hundred percent to Yusuko. Um, and uh, it, it was definitely something that was on my radar, but um, I, I was also pursuing, for example, uh, I was invited to an undergraduate research program to oh, um, nice. do uh, machine learning research on um, detecting credit card transactions. And um, that, was, that was really fascinating, you know, the applications of computer science research. So I was doing a lot of related things and that was one of the things that I was doing in computer science. So it was, I, I was definitely preparing. It was, it was one of the things that I was doing. Awesome. And how were you preparing for Yusuko at that time? Yeah. So at that time, it's um, since there's there's so many resources out there. I was, um, but it's, or, or I should say the opposite. There's there's um, it's a little bit hard just to do it without like a set structure. So what I was doing was um, I was doing previous problems, and um, I wasn't really sure about. Um, how to sort of separate them by concept or uh, things like that. So I was just doing previous problems, uh, reading the solutions and doing them. Uh, it was a slow and sort of arduous process at the at that point. So it was hard to get like the content knowledge that I needed. I see. You then uh, booked a call with me because you wanted to, I believe you wanted to make, uh, yeah, you wanted to make gold in January to get like the last boost on your college apps. Um, exactly. Yeah. And it was, um, it was sort of like, um, I was looking to sort of fill the gaps of things that I needed. Um, like I wasn't really sure what I was missing. So um, I, I sort of needed that boost to get to gold. Yeah, for sure. And then, so you got on a call, talked to Brooke. Um, and then why did you end up signing up with me? Yeah, so um, I, one of the things that like the, the, the promise of like, one of the things that we were, or I, I was looking for was, uh, to, to know whether or not it was possible to do it in one month, uh, because obviously, um, or in, or more specifically four weeks ish. So it's, um, it's a pretty daunting task to go just from like, um, s silver level to, um, you know, getting into getting to the gold level. So, uh, could it be done in, uh, four weeks? And, uh, I, I sort of got the sense that, you know, um, uh, from talking to, uh, Brooke and, um, getting more familiar with the program that yes, it was possible. So th that was, that was perhaps like the main reason that like, uh, that it was possible to do it in four weeks. Yeah, for sure. And then, um, so we started working together and you started cruising through the course super fast. Um, mm -hmm. what, what motivated you to kind of spend more time on the course and put more effort into that than you had been? Of course. So, um, I think, uh, the, the, one of the main things that's beneficial of, uh, any like, like this course structure was the was was the structure itself was that I I, I knew what I was going to do like week one and week two and there was like the concepts built on one another um, and the problems just online they do not build on one another they're um, mixed together by year they're not categorized by um, concept and there's 
uh, it does not increase progressively. And I think um, that structure and organization of the course was really what um, I benefited from. So um, really working working through that, like starting from like basic, like um, I shouldn't say basic, but uh, prefix sums because there was a hard prefix sums problem on the um, on the silver contest, but uh, and binary search and going on to graph traversal, like there's a nice progression and the structure that the course provided was um, was that last bit of um, push that I needed to get to gold. Because when you're just practicing through, going through random problems, they're not categorized or progressive in any way. Awesome. What do you, what do you think was the most important part of the course? Yeah, um, I, I thought for sure it was the, the um, I found the video lessons and that uh, preceded the, um, preceded the practice problems for the week that that was definitely for me the most helpful thing because um that sort of that sort of um content base doesn't really uh, exist very often in other places so that that's something i really relied upon as i did the problems so i'd say the really the the, the content videos that came before the problems i found the most helpful that's that's great to hear yeah um yeah so then you took the contest in january you got mm -hmm. a perfect score how did that feel yeah, that was, um, it, it was quite the unbelievable feeling. So I, um, I finished the contest around three and a half ish hours. So um, it might've been a little bit more, a little bit less, but um, yeah, so it, it was like, it was like everything sort of fit into place and everything sort of uh, worked well. Like um, I thought the co contest was uh, um, pretty good difficulty. It was, it was a hard um, contest, but like everything I'd learned sort of like fit into place. Um, yeah, and when I got that in contest promotion, it was uh, I was pretty ecstatic uh, that that feeling of uh, getting a perfect score because I was aiming to get into gold, but um, getting that perfect score was just uh, just one step further. That was uh, that was that was the feeling that had motivated me, and I, I sort of it sort of became realized in that moment. That's that's incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, is there any other advice you have for students who may possibly be in silver and trying to? get to gold? Of course. Yeah. Um, I think the, the biggest advice that I could give is that um, when, when you're, when you're doing all of this, there, there are going to be setbacks. There are going to be uh, times when it's like, oh, I'm not making any progress. And in those moments, what I really relied on um, was remembering why I was doing what I was doing. It wasn't um, just the problem itself. I sort of like widened my view and uh, it was bigger than Yusuko itself. And I realized that I was passionate about computer science in general, and that I, I wanted to learn and not, not just be able to do the contest, but also to learn the concepts and use the concepts effectively. Um, and so I'd always had that inner motivation. So um, during those moments when inevitably there are, you'll, you'll hit roadblocks and problem solving, and it's like, oh, I didn't make as much progress today. Um, when you start focusing on the micro, because of course I was doing it four weeks, so uh, there's many hours of practice and um, in those moments when uh, very small micro moments when it can seem uh, sort of disheartening uh, you sort of have to remind yourself of like the main motivation like the bigger picture that um, yes you're it's not just this problem it's not just this concept uh, you're, you're chasing gold and beyond that you're chasing like more understanding more knowledge of like data structures and algorithms that you know, lead to me being a better problem solver and me being able to solve more problems with computer science. So I just had that, had to have that wider view in my head. And when, uh, when I got into a tough problem and eventually persevering and uh, getting through all of it, I was, I was able to reach that, uh, reach that goal. And uh, yeah, that, that would be my advice to remember the motivations when the times are tough and it'll see you through to the end. That's incredible advice. Um Okay, yeah. Well, thank you for taking, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to everybody and providing your wisdom. Of course, and it's my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, have a great day. Bye. You too.